When we look out into the future, what we're going to find is we're going to be relying less on vehicles that are running on petroleum and more on vehicles that are running on alternative fuels. I'm driving a 650 with the V10 in it, runs on natural gas. Here in my left hand, I have a diesel molecule that is C14H30. The white balls represent hydrogen, the black balls represent carbon. Every time we break a hydrogen bond, we release energy. So you can see there's a lot of energy available with the diesel molecule, but there's also a lot of carbon. With methane, which is CH4, there are four hydrogen bonds that can be broken for every carbon atom that we put into the atmosphere. People ask, how clean is natural gas? Well, most of us use natural gas at home. We use it to cook spaghetti on top of the stove. It's so clean that you can do that inside your home and your family's not affected by it. When you burn natural gas in an automobile, not only is it that clean, but you run it through an oxidizing catalytic converter afterwards, so the exhaust is even cleaner. We have people who are getting natural gas for less than half the price of gasoline or diesel. Right now, I think uh, the national average is $2.09. From an emission standpoint, propane is much cleaner burning than diesel. So when your school bus is sitting there idling, when it's burning propane versus diesel, there's less particulate matter that's going into the air that could be causing harm to our kids. The other aspect of gaseous fuels is they burn much hotter than gasoline. So to withstand the hotter temperatures and the lack of lubrication, we harden the valves, we harden the valve trains, we harden all kinds of components in the engine to ensure that that engine is tough enough that we're willing to put a blue oval in front of it and say it's built for a truck.